In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a simple React application that pulls data down from Reddit, specifically uh, the popular subreddit using the JSON feed for the popular subreddit and displaying that using uh, a function uh, within React. Let's go ahead and start by creating a new React application. I can do that using the Create React app. So I shall type in npx create hyphen react hyphen app and I have to give this app a name. I'm going to call this Reddit Pop Free. And if I hit enter, the Create React app goes through the process of creating um, the associated directories and subdirectories for a React application. This is going to take some time, so please have some patience. Once the Create React app has completed its uh, workings, go ahead and browse into the directory. As you can see, I'm now in the Reddit popular feed directory. After typing in CD Reddit pop feed, and after that, go ahead and type in npm start. And once you type in npm start, um, the web application, uh, the development server is started up. Once you see the following, you can go ahead and in the AWS Cloud9 environment, hit preview. And this allows you to see the running application. In this case, the running application is um, the app.js in the directory uh, Reddit pop feed, and we can see the result. Go ahead and browse into that directory, Reddit pop feed, and go ahead and click on the SRC folder and double click and open up app.js. The current version of app.js is what is rendering out the React icon and the text under that icon. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be eliminating all of the content between the two divs. Once we've eliminated the content and saved that file, we see that now uh, our app.js has no content and subsequently we see no content in preview. In this example, we're going to be rendering some content out, uh, which has to do with uh, the Reddit uh, popular uh, JSON feed. For that purpose, uh, one of the first things I can, I can do is I can create a header. And again, um, these HTML that, uh, that you're going to be seeing is actually JSX. Creator header, and if I go ahead and save it, we see that it says Reddit data display the popular feed. Um, I'm going to have two horizontal rules, and within these horizontal rules, I'm going to find some way of displaying the content. One of the things we've got to keep in mind is that when we have a single HTML tag, the way it is closed out is by a forward slash, and so throwing the forward slash in, saving the file allows me to create these two forward uh, horizontal rules uh, on the page. Let's come back to the fact uh, that we want to display some data. Uh, specifically, we want to display data from Reddit's popular feed. Uh, Reddit's popular feed is available at https colon forward slash forward slash www.reddit.com uh, forward slash r forward slash popular dot json. One can find that field and its information here.
if you go to the popular JSON feed, this is the data that you're going to see. Uh, this is basically the feed of the popular subreddit uh, in, in, in JSON uh, structure. We're going to read this data and render it on that React page. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to start thinking about uh, once we bring that data in, where are we going to save it? Uh, to save that data, one of the things that we're going to do is we are going to have uh, an array called posts that is actually going to store that data. Now, uh, to, uh, to actually store the data in the array, um, we're going to use the use state effect and we're going to use the use state effect to store the data in this posts array using a method called set posts um, or using a method or a function called set posts. And here's how we do it. We specify that we're going to have a constant posts and this posts is accessed through set posts. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the I'm going to set the state off set uh, posts initially to be empty. And so we have an empty array declared using set posts. Now, one of the things that we are missing still in our application is we have not indicated that we are using React. And so, um, which is why we see some um, warnings over here because uh, React is not defined. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up over here and type in import React from React. And once I do this, uh, you notice that uh, the warning has uh, disappeared. <clears throat> and so posts is going to hold uh, all the data that is going to come in from uh, the Reddit popular feed, and I access posts using set posts. So I can change the value of posts using set posts uh, as as uh, as my setter method, as it were. Uh, to actually get the data down from uh, the popular feed, uh, I'm going to be using uh, a fetch request, and so the way I should do that is I shall use an effect and the use effect is actually executed uh, once the page is rendered and so the effect that i'm going to apply is the following i'm going to declare a function and this anonymous function that is present within this use effect is basically a fetch request and so i'm going to fetch from the URL that y'all have seen before, http colon forward slash forward slash www.reddit.com forward slash r forward slash popular dot json. From this location, I'm going to fetch the data and then I'm going to take the response that I get. Uh, the response that is going to come down in JSON form. I'm going to parse the JSON response. And after I pass the JSON response, I'm going to take the result. And I'm going to do something with the result. Specifically, in this case, I'm going to use the set posts um, keyword over here, uh, the set posts uh, accessor or, or uh, method name over here to set the value of this posts array to be the result array that has, uh, uh, that is uh, what I'm getting from result. And so, uh, I have actually taken a look at what the result is, and you can do so as well if one does console.log result, 
you realize that this result that our JSON was parsed into um, actually has a lot of fields and subfields. And specifically, in this case, we want uh, the specific post data, and so that would be result dot data dot children being the specific uh, elements of the popular feed that we are interested in. Now, if this in fact does not work, uh, I want to catch any error that is created. And uh, what I want to do is if I catch an error, I am going to try to console log it. And so I'm going to type in console.log. You have an error just indicating that I have an error of some kind over here. Now, just in case uh, our data doesn't come down, I need to indicate what to do if there is uh, no data to come down or if there's some problem. Uh, so I'm gonna say, if that is the case, then leave the array as empty. And so what this use effect does is that it fetches data from the popular feed of JSON, uh, takes the response from the URL, uh, parses the JSON, converts it into an array. The array is result. Um, the array has many different components. And so uh, the piece I'm uh, grabbing from the result is a result.data.children. And I am setting the posts array that was declared up here um, to basically uh, the data that comes down. While the React use effect uh, does bring down data from the popular feed of JSON and inserts it into the posts array, we still need some way to display the data in posts. Um, we're going to be building that right now. Um, and what we're going to do is specifically we are going to use another function and uh, use that function within uh, the app function that has been specified right here. So let's say uh, I call that function and uh, uh, specifically I'm building a functional component. And so the specific functional component that I'm gonna be using, uh, I have to give it a name, so let's call it sub r post display. So I'm going to create another function called sub r post display. And all this function really does, uh, well, <clears throat> uh, what this function is going to do is this function is going to allow us to take data that is present in the posts array and display that data in some way. And so uh, let's say there are some properties that are coming down to this function and these properties specifically are going to be the posts and uh, what this function is going to do is this function is going to take those properties uh, and parse them uh, specifically the posts and parse them and display uh, information about each post um, in a certain manner um, and so uh, the first thing we can do is just see whether the sub r post display works um, and to do that, what I could say is something to the effect of return and what I can specify within this return is let's say I specify uh, some sort of tag. <clears throat> let's specify a button or just a bold Uh, and so this function uh, sub r post display at the moment just returns 
uh, some HTML, bordered HTML, this is a functional component. Um, to include subbar post display uh, within, uh, uh, within the app, all I would have to do really is invoke it uh, by saying sub r post display and I'm gonna have to give it some sort of uh, 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 data um, and so uh, only because I have specified that it's receiving properties and so in fact you know let me say that it does not receive any properties whatsoever and so if I just do that there we go. Uh, we can see that we have this bolded piece of text. This is a functional component uh, show up right here. So basically, whatever sub R post display is supposed to do is basically what I see um, see within app.js, right? And so this is basically the way a functional component uh, works is that you can define things to do within the functional component and then you can invoke that functional component in other components in this case i'm invoking it with an app um, the app component uh, the app functional component and we see that um, uh, we, we're getting uh, the display of uh, uh, of the data within this uh, in when app.js is rendered <clears throat> um, in this case, uh, however, I want to do a little bit more, right? I just don't want to display this as a functional component. What I really want to do is uh, I want to, in fact, loop through all of the data that is present in uh, in posts, right? Um, and so what I want to suggest is that um, this component, uh, when it is invoked, actually gets the data that is present within posts, right? So I want to say, What I'm doing over here is that I'm saying that this functional component uh, is getting some data, uh, uh, specifically a property called posts. And what the property called posts is going to be is it's going to be the array of posts that was declared up here. Um, and so when I do this, uh, this data is going to come down, in fact, as props to this functional component. Uh, if I actually wanted to see uh, what props look like, I would have to do maybe something like console.log props. And if I do console.log props, I will actually see what the property is. Uh, for instance, if I actually want to see this, I can open up uh, the Reddit data display popular feed in a browser. In this case, I'm popping it up. If I use the developer tools, save this code. And so uh, this is app.js line 35. And we see that line 35 is console log props. And we see console log props is an object. And within that object, it has posts. Uh, and uh, currently, the length of posts is 0. There might be an error. It says line 18, I have an error. Obviously, uh, I can see that there is some problem with my fetch request right here. Um, uh, to fix to fix the fetch request, all I really had to do was add an S. This is a secure request, and once I've done that, we see that the post array starts at zero. Um, this is line 13, line 13 of the code. Uh, as we can see, line 13 of the code uh, is specifically the console log result that I'm getting uh, uh, after the JSON has been parsed. Um, after line 13, the next console logs in line 35. And in line 35, we see that we have an array of 25 uh, items. Uh, these are the posts. And so obviously, my properties is coming down. Properties.posts will actually give us access to posts, uh, to the posts array. Now, uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to take each post in the post array and actually I want to render it out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for each post, I want to return props, which is the properties dot posts. And I'm using the map function of an array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 
I want to apply a function to each post present in that array. Specifically, for each post, I want to uh, return something. Now you can see, right? If I if I just I just altered it, I took that return that was showing up only once, and I put it within this map function. And you see, this is returning. This is a functional component. This is a functional component. This is a functional component, and it's returning this twenty-five different times. Right? In this case, I don't want this is a functional component showing up. I actually want something else showing up, something that will actually display the post itself. And so, what might this be? Well, I have some ideas. I can create a div, and I'm going to call this. I'm going to give this an ID called post and so this div has an id and so i can kind of uh structure this div uh i can uh i can style this div as i want um i'm going to use the data dollar uh, hyphen key property to indicate um or in some way tag uh, one post uniquely different from some other post. so i'm going to call this uh, I'm going to use a piece of information that, uh, when the post was created. I'm going to use that as the key, so that allows me to distinguish one post uh, from another post. So I'm going to say post dot data dot created. Um, and so if you take a look at <coughs> uh, the array, and for each post there is a created date. I'm going to use that created date as a way to key each post with a unique kind of ID. Uh, within each div, I'm going to have an image tag. And so if there is an image associated with the post, I actually want to render it. So I'm going to say SRC. Uh, and, I'm, and this is going to be information about post.data. So if there is a thumbnail, I see the thumbnail. If not, I'm going to have an alternate text. basically saying that no uh, image was available. And because there is no closing tag, I have to, I have to use that structure, um, the forward slash at the end. And if I wanted something relatively simple, in this case, we can see um, all I've done is uh, create a post div, put an image, and uh, the URL and the title. And so I have an image, I have the title, and I have inside the title an associated URL. Some image, there are some posts that don't have images. So really all I'm doing over here is basically rendering kind of uh, the image there if there is an image and uh, the title of the post and if you click on this uh, title you actually go to the post itself uh, that is present on reddit obviously we can add more um, like follows as you can see a little bit more information has been added uh, specifically two buttons uh, called coming comment number and opt number and we can see these have been styled with bootstrap uh, again we notice that uh, within those buttons we have number of comments and the number of upvotes on a post. Uh, in this case, specifically to add Bootstrap to um, specifically to add Bootstrap to your React application, one can go to the index.html that's present in the public folder, and one can use the Bootstrap CDN to add and access Bootstrap styles. In this case, I've styled the button tags using uh, button info, uh, made them small buttons, and um, specifically uh, have a certain, num a certain amount of size and certain amount of margin. And so uh, in this way, we can display uh, data that comes from a feed uh, using components and subcomponents within a single page React application.